Let me take you to a nice tropical beach with a beautiful sunset and listening to the calming waves of the ocean. Now this AI QR code can take you to the website to reserve that dream vacation or mentor vacation. This is AI generated QR codes by Elijah, Ben, Katrina, Robert, Nigel. Here's a quick overview of our presentation. What are AI QR codes? Why is it important? How does it work? How it work? And how to make it your own? This is the current state of QR code generation. It's nice, it's cool, but this is actually cheating. What this means is that the images are pasted onto the QR code, actually making them not that readable. This means that customization is limited. But on the other hand, these sexy, amazing QR codes generated by AI implement the images with the QR code. This then allows for the best readability and still show fire images. If Tony Stark was real, he definitely would use this to promote himself. Why is this important? Businesses and companies can use AI QR codes in order to represent their brand, thus pushing awareness of this new technological advancement. Next, we go to Rafi. So Stable Diffusion is an AI model that I'm sure a lot of you may know of, even if not by name. For those of you who don't, it's an AI model that allows users to enter a text input and generate an image based off of that input. A new technology, ControlNet, has opened a lot of doors for us. With it, we're able to force the model to generate images following the blueprint. For our use case, we can use a boring and monotone QR code as our Bluetooth blueprint and generate an image with that. For instance, Stable Diffusion can create a lasagna image. Since Stable Diffusion is so well built, ControlNet does its own thing in creating an image following the blueprint, but then the Stable Diffusion and ControlNet result image merge. So what's new? Two of the PF Stable Diffusion already exist, but our project is aimed to improve the pipeline so we can generate QR codes faster. To customize them, Stable Diffusion can't generate images that are specific to a niche prompt. If you wanted to generate images of TMOC, Stable Diffusion could only give its best guess by synthesizing information it already had. So we decided to implement a LoRa model. With this model, we can effectively generate um, the images with niche prompts, and we can also generate them in a faster manner. As seen here, we have images of TMOC that then we train to produce these images over here. Oh, and then for control now. Our model uses not just one control net, but two control nets. This has never been done before in the world of QR. Along with stable diffusion, we have one control net model focusing on the QR code, while the other one focuses on generating the logo. This multi-control net model allows us to create high quality QR codes that are also customizable to a specific brand or company. As you can see, the quality of this QR code greatly improves from using one control net, but improves even more using our innovative multi-control net model. From this, we can generate QR codes customizable to any brand or business. Nike, McDonald's, and Google, to name a few. Now on to Rigel for our demo. Okay, our model is hosted by Hugging Face. So how it works is where we put the website link right here, then we put the image prompt of what our uh, QR code should look like. Then we can set the conditioning skills, how strong our QR code is, our strength, how strong our image is, guidance scale, how how much our model uh, replicates the image prompt. The lower strength, if we were using a lower model, how much it resembles that. And the number of steps is how many iterations our model goes through, uh, which could cause a longer running time, but a higher quality image and QR code. And we can scan it right here. So our next steps would be have a permanent website for our model 
have more control nets, more LoRa's, and hopefully have our QR codes everywhere in the world. And in conclusion, we accomplished training a LoRa model, training a model, a QR model with one control net, and be the first ever to train a QR model with two control nets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice.